this. Stout in action, but go like the sponge and away go stout. We'll find it. Okay, we'll find it. But I am filming a haul right now. Hey guys. So it's the morning. I basically just woke up and Luna is still asleep. I thought this was a good opportunity for me to go ahead and film my little haul that I have here. So I have two hauls. They are basically like I would call it like a quarantine online shopping haul, <laughs> kind of that's what happened, that's what I did. I needed some retail therapy during the quarantine, so I went online on a few shops and I just did some shopping that I had needed to do anyways. So I got some stuff for myself, which I have right here, and then I got some stuff for the kids, which is going to be the second half of this. I'll separate it into two videos. So. This half is the mom half or stuff that I bought for myself. Um, it's just a few things, but I have actually a pretty big uh, Zenny glasses haul that I'm gonna do here. And I'm really excited about all the glasses I got. So I think I'm gonna start with the glasses. That way, uh, if people want a Zenny glasses review, it's at the beginning of the video. And then there's just a few uh, clothing items that I have also. Not very many, so I'll just do that at the end. Um, I have my coffee here to help me wake up. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. It's good coffee. Ugh. I'm going to set that off to the side. Okay, so first off, before I get into the glasses, I'm going to show you what I picked up from Amazon that is going to help me. I looked everywhere for different ways to store glasses because Zenny offers really uh, affordable glasses. I had bought several pairs from Zenny last year that I never actually got around to hauling. I just started wearing them. I decided that it was time for me to place another Zenny order and because I'm gonna have a lot more glasses on hand, I wanna have a way to store them. I looked at different things like hanging them almost like a jewelry tree or getting just the glasses holders that they use in the store. You can buy little stands for them. You can buy wall mounting glasses holders. I considered all of those options and then I found a glass holder like this that I was going to get so that I could store like four pairs at once in one spot. But then I found these, and this is actually a office supply. It's a pen holder or pencil holder that you can put on your desk. And it's actually the perfect size, at least for me, because I'm smaller, my face is smaller. For a pair of my glasses, this is really nice. So I'm not sure how well big, thick sunglasses will fit in here. In fact, I can go grab some really quick so I can show you. This has been perfect for my glasses. So they come in a four pack. And so I'm using two already. And this is what it looks like. The bottom one, the glasses kind of stick out because it's not a full thing. So I guess if you were using this for your office, you'd probably just put like paper clips down here and then use these ones for pens. But it still works. Your glasses just stick out halfway. This one is the one I have next to my bed. So I have one next to my bed because before this, they would just be in a pile or I started using my Ipsy bags to store glasses, which is still really good. I still can do that. But for like long-term storage, I don't want to keep them in a little bag. I want to just be able to grab them. So this has been a lifesaver for me to be able to do this. So next to my bed, and then this is the one I have on our new little bookshelf in our bedroom. And then I have two more. I think I'm gonna keep one in my bathroom, and then I think I'll keep one in the living room. Cause these are just the areas where I end up leaving glasses just kind of laying around. So I'm trying to fix that little problem that I have where I'm, I'm getting glasses starting to pile up in the house. And I really love though having a lot of different pairs of glasses because when I, was pregnant with Rory and when I had Rory I used to have about two or three pairs of glasses but then he broke them and it got to the point where I had bought myself a plastic pair of glasses 
uh, pretty similar to these ones. He broke them and that was like my main pair that I would wear all the time and, it, and so I only had one pair of metal frames kind of like this but they were smaller. That was the only pair of glasses that I had for about two years. And they were really not good quality, like they were on their last leg. It's it's just been a mess, is my point. It's been a mess. I've been trying really hard to keep them safe, but the kids are really rough on them. So I was down to the metal pair, and the metal pair broke. And once the metal pair broke, that was it. That was the end of it. And then I went back after that I went back to the pair like this because it was broken in the center so I glued it back together I wore it like that for about three weeks with it just glued and then I ended up having just to have a piece of tape because it was in winter time when it was rainy and the glue kept getting like it would get rained on for like five seconds while I was outside getting into my car and then it would unseal or it just never really took hold so um it was a bummer <laughs> it was really hard to live like that for a while but i ended up going to america's best after that and i got my prescription renewed which it was exactly the same as before but i had an active prescription finally um so i got this pair at america's best let me get these down I got this pair at America's Best and this pair at America's Best. And these were the cheap options, like the cheapest pairs you could get. So these are the two glasses that I started with for my new... After this happened, I really decided that I needed to start taking care of myself better because I, I had been pouring all of my energy into my kids and not really taking care of myself that great. So. It's still a struggle. It's still really a struggle, but I'm doing more little things to take care of myself. I haven't made any like big, huge changes yet, but um, I think I think I'm on my way to starting to make bigger changes. But I'm I'm just not there yet. But little things like buying new glasses, I am actively working on that. So for my first Zenny order. I bought six pairs of glasses and I'm down to three. And this is just a demonstration of how rough the kids are on my glasses. So the first pair that broke was my sunglasses. They were the cheaper, so I bought one nice pair of sunglasses and one cheap pair of sunglasses from Zenny last time. And the cheap pair, Luna just, they were plastic frames. Luna just snapped this off. She just grabbed it and snapped it off when Dan was with her in the car one day. Because um, I used to wear those in the car a lot. Uh, so yeah, she just completely... And the metal, the metal was snapped. So there's no way to repair them. Um, she just snapped it. So first pair of sunglasses gone. And then the second pair of sunglasses I actually lost in Disneyland. <laughs> I think they're in Frontierland. Either I set them down on a like bench or something or they were in the stroller and they fell out it was either one of those things because I did not I was very careful about leaving stuff on rides when I went to Disneyland when I was a teenager I lost a pair of sunglasses that way um, so I've been more careful <laughs> since to not leave stuff on rides but um so yeah those got lost in Disneyland we tried the lost and found but Disneyland lost and found they have so many sunglasses that it's probably like a needle in a haystack so those got lost. It's kind of a bummer because those glasses were 60 bucks. Um, so I'm bummed that I lost those. And then the other pair that broke, I got a new one. They were only $6 glasses. So it wasn't that big of a deal. And I really love them. They're one of my favorite glasses actually. They were sitting on my side table and they're a lot like these. They're very similar to these. And she just snapped the thing off like she just twisted it and snapped it off so that was a huge bummer and that was my last straw again like okay now I lost that pair of glasses I need to make another order because I had 
zero sunglasses all spring, which when it's sunny out and I'm driving, my eyes get bothered and I need to wear sunglasses while I'm driving. I've been suffering all, all of spring waiting to make that glasses order. So before I get into that order, I'll show you the glasses that are remaining from that. So this is the most roughed up pair of glasses that I own. It's my flexible glasses. I bought these after the whole incident before I went to America's Best and these are meant to be worn around the kids. These glasses have some scratches on them even though I did get the extra protection on them but they're still scratched. So these are awesome. I love flexible glasses. I recommend them for sure especially if you have kids that like to do this because you know so yeah, I love those. And this pair is the most gently used pair. These are like my special, I call them like my sassy ones because they're cat eye glasses. And I just like the way that they frame my face. I think they're really cute. So these are actually in really excellent shape. They have a few smudges on them right now, but um, they're in excellent shape because I've barely worn them. I only wear them for certain occasions. So I love these glasses and then I just, I'm glad that they're still in good shape. So that, and then the last pair from Zenny, I wear these a lot and I love these glasses and I actually, they broke recently. I was just getting the kids out of the car and they slid off my face. They just slid off my face and fell on the ground and uh, this broke off. So. Again, I wear these a lot so the kids are jumping on me and it's probably just from overuse. But I really, really love these glasses and I was able to glue them together because this piece just came out and all I had to do was put some glue and put it back in. And I think I can go find the glue that I used. Hang on. This is the glue that I used. I just looked up online what's the best glue to fix glasses with and this is what came up. So this is what I used and it worked really well. Um, I'm probably going to, I just put a little dollop in there and then I let it dry. It still moves a little bit because it's flexible glue technically. So it's still, there's still some give on there. So I think that it'll work out really great. But because these glasses have broken once and they're just a little bit more fragile than the other ones are not sturdy like when they first arrive, I'm just going to wear these sometimes and um, these will be more of like a backup pair because um, I don't want them to break again basically. They probably will break again someday but I'm going to try to avoid it. So I am going to hang on to these as a backup pair. I really love these glasses still. I have this pair of sunglasses. These are dollar store sunglasses. And these I bought to wear over, uh, like if I'm wearing regular glasses, I bought these to wear over. So they're so huge, but I just wanted to show you. Now these probably won't fit in these holders. Yeah, this is, let me try it up here. So that's what it looks like, trying to fit it in. So not great for a huge, huge pair of sunglasses or regular glasses, but if you have a smaller head, um, they work fine, but yeah, definitely not fitting in there. <laughs> Just so you know the size. Now is for the fun part, all of the glasses. I'm so excited, you guys. I got eight pairs, I got eight pairs of glasses. So let's dive right in. It came in one of these and I have them all here in this package. I've been wearing some of them, so I'll probably bump this haul ahead to where I started wearing the glasses. That way it's not all confusing like, oh, weird new glasses. So these ones I have not worn yet. I took them out of the packaging and tried them all on when they arrived. So when they arrive, they are wrapped in the cloth, but they're inside of a little baggie. So it's like super nice the way that they come really secured. Inside a bag, inside a cloth, inside a case. That's how they come. I took them all out of the bags already. So here's the first pair. I actually almost did not buy because it's kind of out of my comfort zone. But when I saw some of the review photos, they looked really cute. So I just went for it. And I don't regret it, you know. So this is the first pair. I think these are going to be really fun. 
for certain occasions. I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna wear these every day, but I really love them. It's like this nice little lilac is what it's called thing there. And they're round, which I don't think I have any other round glasses. I think that these are the only ones. And uh, they, they kind of remind me of these ones a little bit. I just love that they kind of accentuate the shape of my face a little bit differently than some of the other glasses. I think they look really good, actually. Yeah, I like them a lot. So I'm actually gonna open this up and start putting some glasses away. Do they fit? Yes, even these fit. And they're probably the biggest pair of glasses that I bought, so. Yay. All right, next up, bought three pairs of sunglasses this time. This is the cheap pair. I wore them once, it looks like. And uh, they're cat eye glasses. So they're the tinted amber lens. Oh wow, it's so beautiful, you guys. I love these. <laughs> they make everything look like this nice golden color. Everything looks golden. I love it. So these are gonna be nice to wear. And these might even be like an everyday pair of sunglasses, but I've really been loving the two other ones I bought. I don't know, I love them all. They, they all have their own thing going for them. So these are awesome and I do not regret buying these. These were only like 20 bucks or something. They were super cheap. So I love these. Next up, ooh, another pair of sunglasses. So these ones are a little bit out of my comfort zone. They are green and like an aqua color. And I've worn these a couple of times. They look like that. I mean, aren't they beautiful? I love the, like, it's like almost like an agate look to it on the frame. It's so pretty. And then all of the glasses have the Zenny logo. Yeah. They all have the Zenny logo printed on them. So these are the green mirror finish glasses. All right. Wow. So everything's like a blue green color that I can see. But I just thought these would be good for a certain type of outfit if I'm wearing like a lot of blue or green in my outfit or gray even. I thought these would be good to wear. And I just like having something different so yeah, I love these a lot. So next up, let's see what I got. Okay, I don't think I've, no, I have not worn these yet. I tried them on and then I have not worn them yet. I'm really excited about these glasses. I call them my Twin Peaks glasses because they kind of remind me of like a, like 80s vibe or 90s vibe. I told Dan that they were like my Twin Peaks glasses. He said that they were log lady glasses. So yeah, kind of. They've got that like Pacific Northwest librarian vibe going on. So the thing that's interesting about these is the shape is what really got me. So it's just kind of different and unique. And then on top of that, the inside is green and the outside is dark brown. So it's just kind of different. I don't know. So they look like that and then they have a similar um, almost like agate look to them like the other ones that I just showed you but it's green instead of like that teal and then it's like a wood grain looking thing on the outside but they're plastic frames so it's kind of wild so I'm gonna put these on and I just kind of love these almost like an owl or like a librarian vibe. I don't know, I like them a lot. They really remind me of Pacific Northwest. Yeah, if that's even a vibe. <laughs> so yes, I will probably wear these a lot, especially in the fall. I, I think that these are gonna be good fall glasses, kind of an alternate to these, because I really like wearing these, but I have to be in the right mood for these. So this was kind of like what I was going for, an alternative to the red. So yeah, I like them. Okay, so that's four down. And now I'm gonna show you really quick the other pair that I have been wearing almost nonstop, and I know I've worn them in quite a few videos. And that is my new pair of flexible glasses. So this time, I decided to get pink ones, and I got rectangle instead of cat eye. So 
These ones are cat eye and these ones are rectangle and I honestly really love the rectangle. I think more in this case than the cat eye. So I'm probably gonna end up buying another pair like this later on down the road. But for now, the two that I have are good. So I've been wearing these so often. They've been great and I love the pink. I was worried that the pink was gonna make me look too young, but I think that I really love the color. It's light, it kind of blends in with my skin a little bit because my skin has tends to have the pink undertone to it. These are gonna be like my everyday with the kids hanging out in the house kind of glasses or right before bed. I like to switch almost every night. I will switch from regular glasses to these so that the other glasses don't get bent because if I fall asleep wearing these, it's no big deal. Um, so yeah, these have so many benefits. So I love these and I will continue to wear them almost every day. So this pair, I'm pretty sure replaced the ones that Luna broke because they're really tiny. And that's really what I love about them. I know I wore them in a lot of videos too. So they're little wire frames and they're only six, seven dollars. Um, yeah, so they look like that. They're like the half open on the bottom and then it has the rim on the top. And little rose gold glasses. They're really pretty. This is what they look like on. You can barely tell that you're even wearing glasses when you're wearing these. It, they're just so lightweight, you barely even notice them. It's amazing. I like these a lot. So after Luna broke them, I was like, that's it. I'm buying another pair because, yeah, I love them so much. So for sure, these have definitely a place to be worn quite frequently in my daily life. So I'm down to the last two. I have one pair of regular and one pair of sunglasses and these are both really awesome. Um, the sad part about this is I'm like, now I want to go order more glasses, but these will tide me over for a while and I'm really happy with my order. So this pair I decided to get because of this pair. So these kind of go hand in hand. You kind of see the theme that I did where I kind of tried to replace a few glasses and add a few glasses to give me more than one choice for whatever vibe I'm going for. So that's that's what I'm going for there. And I really like these a lot. They're tighter fit so they kind of just like squeeze onto my head and I don't have to worry about them sliding whereas these ones, I don't know what happened but over time they slide off really easily. So now for the grand finale, my last pair of glasses that I got these ones are amazing. I love these. These are probably my favorite ones. Yeah. So these ones are rose gold and they have the cat eye look to them. Hi guys. Ugh. Sorry, I got interrupted because the memory card got full. So that's just me rambling on. I had to set these off to the side because Luna woke up. She's got bedhead, but she's awake now. So she's kind of wandering around in here. This is the final pair of glasses that I was in the middle of trying to show you when the memory card got full, so thank you, yes. So anyway, I love these, they're so pretty. I wore them for one vlog so far. Yeah, I like this open, I was a little skeptical, I knew they were going to be beautiful but I just wasn't sure how they would look on, but I'm really happy with it. So they're the gradient lens. It's dark on top and then on the bottom it's lighter. So it's a gradient lens. They just come across as a little bit fragile. I just need to be super careful with them. These are like fancy glasses. So I almost prefer if I'm on an outing like at the zoo or something like that or Disneyland, I'd almost prefer to wear these because if I lose these, these were only like 15 bucks or something, maybe 20 max. These were like 50 or 60. So I would rather lose these and easily replace these than these ones. So these are kind of like we're in the car or if I know that I'm not gonna get them messed up, um, but these will be good for outings with the kids and stuff. So. I'm glad that I have some options. So yeah, I'm very happy with my Zenny order. I'm gonna take these off. Let me see if they fit in my holder here. Let's see. Yep, they fit nice. I think that I'm gonna go back to my first pair 
I think I'm gonna wear these for the rest of the video. So I'm gonna put these up on the shelf and then I'm gonna show you guys the clothing items that I got. I don't know if you can see them behind me. They actually all fit, so I don't have to use the bottom the bottom one on each one, except for whatever one I'm wearing, so that works out. So this is my first time ordering anything from Fabletics. I keep getting the ads on Instagram, and I've actually been wanting to try out the leggings because they have pockets in them, and I preferably wear black leggings all the time. I'm always nervous about going out of my comfort zone, so... I just thought I'd give it a try. So I did a Kohl's order and I did a Fabletics order. So let me get right into it. So this is the extra item that I bought from Fabletics. It's the, I think it's rosette or something like that, um, but it's got roses on it. I kind of like it. There were not very many options. They, that was one thing I didn't really like about the Fabletics website because they advertise all this stuff and then all of it sold out. So this was one of the few options that they had for tops. I really like it. I think it looks nice. So the first one, I'm really excited for summertime and they do have the pocket in the back, which was what I was really excited about because, you know, I wear normal old navy leggings and they don't have pockets on them. So that's the big draw for me with these. Um, it's a Motion 365 Trinity High Waisted Pocket Capri. They're pretty high waisted, which I don't usually do because I'm short waisted. So if I wear something high waisted, it goes up to my chest. Like it would be up here. So that's probably what these will look like on, which is fine. I will give them a try. They're capris, which I don't have a good pair of capri leggings. I've been wanting to get some. So this solves that problem for me, and I'm hoping that they work out. They're very stretchy. They're very, um, they feel very like athletic, kind of, which I, concerns me a little bit because I don't want to be cold. It gets cold here. Um, so these are probably more of a summertime thing. And then, of course, I have really short legs, so what I'll probably do is end up having to roll them. Otherwise, they'll look like high waters on me. But I think they might work out. This is the last thing I got from... Fabletics. I want to compare basic black leggings brands because I know that a lot of people have tried a lot of different leggings but I just want to find something that works for me so I'm going to try out what people recommend until I find the right ones I guess. Um, Old Navy ones work great for me but in the end I would like something really comfortable like comfort is my number one. Warm. I want to be warm and uh, thick enough that it covers me. I will find it, I, I don't know. If nothing else, Old Navy works for me. So these are the leggings that I got from Fabletics for the basic leggings and I would have preferred the pocket in the back, but, oh no, they, they do have a pocket. It's a really small pocket, but um, they didn't have any just like black leggings with a pocket in stock. I don't know why, but these are the ones I ended up getting. And they are cottony, like they feel they feel more like the leggings I normally wear. I kind of like that it has the cute little logo on there. And they have a pretty thick. This is where they're diff they differ from Old Navy. Old Navy just has a really thin uh, waistband, but this has a thicker one, so that will be interesting. And then they're just super thick, I can tell you, like compared to the Old Navy ones. The Old Navy ones are almost more like tights, but these are thick, like almost like workout pants. Um, so these are called Cellar, S-A-L-A-R, Cellar Solid Power Hold Leggings is what they're called. They're not too high-waisted compared to the other ones. I think these might be the mid-rise ones. And then they have the pocket right here. It's a little tiny pocket. Let me see if my phone fits. Yeah, so my phone would fit like that inside the pocket, which is okay. It's better than nothing. Um, so yeah, I will give these a try and see if they work out. I, I like the material. It's really thick, so um, it might work. I got two things from Kohl's for myself. I really wanted to just go on a shopping spree. I had some self-control and I only got myself two things. I bought the kids a lot of stuff, but um, I only bought myself two things. So I'm trying out the Lauren Conrad leggings. 
Um, they're just like basic black leggings. Let's see, mid-rise, super slim through hip and thigh, super skinny leg opening. That's what it says on there. And these were only $10, which is the same price as the Old Navy ones. The Old Navy ones vary depending on the sale that they're having, but these are roughly the same price, which is good. Whereas the Fabletic ones cost more than these, so I don't know. These are longer, I think, than the Fabletic ones, and they have about the same size of a waistband and no pocket. And they're a little bit thinner. So these are kind of like an in-between. They feel similar to the Old Navy ones, but maybe just a tiny bit thicker than that. So I'll see how these work out. And yeah, I think these are a mid-rise. They look like it. And they're pretty long. So I have a feeling these are gonna be long on me, but that's okay. The other thing I got at Kohl's, I'm really excited about getting this cleaned and so I can wear it. It's a Lauren Conrad t-shirt. I just thought it was so cute. I like the pink, but I've always wanted a mama bear shirt. It's very cute. I love it. <laughs> I can't wait to wear this. It's a little long. I buy a bigger, just bigger size at Old Navy because it runs small, but this one feels kind of big. I don't know. I'll have to see how it fits. I think it's gonna be long on me, which is good. I like I like having long shirts. So that's what I got from Kohl's for myself, and then I got two other things. So I was at Walmart just getting diapers, I think, and I saw this shirt, and I had to buy it because Ariel is my favorite Disney princess. So, I mean, sometimes if you just check, you'll find cute stuff at Walmart. Generally not, but every once in a while, you'll find the little gems. I cannot wait to wear this. It's very, very soft. It's that really soft material too. So last thing that I got, and I've actually already worn this like three times. I tried to save it, you guys, but I just needed to wear it. I'm really excited. It's I love this thing. I'm probably gonna buy more. I bought this at Old Navy online, and it's a, uh, the brushed cotton or the um, soft spun or whatever you want to call it material is so soft and it's a long sleeve and I already have just a plain long sleeve of this and then I have the other lighter gray color but I wanted to get another one so I picked this one up and it has a hood on it which I was skeptical about it's kind of like a lot of extra material but it comes in handy if you're outside working you need to throw it on because it's been raining a lot out here. Um, it's it's nice. And then the bonus is that it has a pocket so I can put my phone or my keys in there, which never happens for me. So I might be picking up another one of these just because of the pocket. And of course, it's very, very comfortable. So I love it. It's just a few items, but it makes me feel so much better about myself to have a few new clothing items in my wardrobe to liven things up a little bit, especially during these times. Uh, it's helpful for me to be able to feel good about myself. Um, so anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. It got a little crazy with the memory card and everything and Luna waking up, but um, I just had to get it done. And I really enjoy my new glasses. I cannot wait to wear all of them and get these clothes in the wash. and. Next up, I'm going to film the kids quarantine haul. I got a lot of clothing for Luna and some clothing for Rory for summer and the start of fall. So if you want to watch that video, I will link it. And that is what I'm going to film next. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.